Welcome back. So we're still talking about your CV, your career resume, or even your LinkedIn profile. And uh, this short video is in response to another question I've been given. And the question um, was, um, do, I include, do I include all of my skills, or if not, what skills do I leave out of my CV? Um, okay, so this is an interesting question. Um, I think it does depend on the skills, and it does depend on how relevant those skills are. When you learn those skills, are those skills still relevant today? Will they be of interest to your future potential employers? Okay. Um, I think there are, especially for in the modern world, some skills that are kind of expected, that you can use a computer, that you can use, you know, spreadsheets, um, Microsoft Word, things like that. Um, if your job is to use those products, those things, uh, every day, and it's, a, and it's an essential part of your job, it's worth noting that you can use Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, whatever software applications that you use. Okay, um, But if they're not instrumental or fundamental fundamental to the job, they're just things that you need to be able to use um, to send emails to somebody, it's not really relevant. Okay, um, But what you have to think about when you are writing a CV, and I, a CV, a resume, or updating your LinkedIn profile, you have to write your resume or create your profile not based on what you're doing currently right now, but based on what your potential employers want from you. Yeah. So, as I have said before, you're not. You should never just have one CV. You for every job that you apply for, you should write a brand new CV. And that brand new CV, after you've done your research into the company and the role, you will understand some of the skills and some of the um, some of the um, the experience required, and that will allow you to decide. Well, what skills do I have which are particularly relevant? to this job and to this company. What skills do they say they're looking for? And then those are the things that you highlight in that version of the CV for that company. Okay. And then you can leave out the things that are irrelevant. If you're not sure, include it in your CV. That's the best advice I can give you. If you're not sure, always include it. 